Ted, I gotta congratulate you. Thank you. These are beautiful character marks. <laughs> yes, they are. Can you tell us about this big long one? Well, that was <laughs> that was coming off a of grassy bay, and <laughs> it's always the first big scratch you put on. How yeah. was that? It was uh, it was terrifying, yet it was it was satisfaction. Say, so, okay, this is happening. I'm actually going to use this beautiful boat for the purpose that it was built and the purpose I bought it for. So my uh, my month of uh, oogling over it being in perfect condition was over. Now it's time to put it to work. <laughs> That's uh, many people say to us, the boat's so beautiful. I don't want to use it, but you do. It's this is what I love to see yeah. is lots of scratches on the boat. Yeah, you know if 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 people feel that way, they can always hang in their living room. <laughs> and some people did. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now, some of the portage landings and coming into some of the campsites, it's not like here where we landed at a nice dock. It's an incredible some of the stuff you have to go through. Very challenging, especially with multiple canoes on the trip. Um, there's not always room. There's always those rocks that you can't avoid. And uh, it, uh, especially near the end of the day, after long portage, so tired, so sloppy, and... Whatever happens, happens. You just need to get out of the boat or get into the boat. So it doesn't matter. That, scratches don't matter at that point. It's more survival. And sometimes when you step on the mud, you think, I'm not going to sink much. You just go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then you get mud in the boat. Oh, my God. <laughs> of all things. 